Hello, I went to the flea market again. Um, flea market season is almost over, although I went to the outdoor one and I believe that they're open pretty much all year. I don't know how many vendors are there during the winter, <coughs> during the cold months. But um, I just went down, I was, today's Monday and I actually had today off, so I went down and got a few things. I told you in one of the videos that I was looking for some of the Reader's Digest condensed books and I actually found two of them and they were a quarter. He was just trying to get rid of his stock. These are the only two he had and when I took them to him to ask how much he wanted for them, he said 50 cents and I thought he meant 50 cents each but he said nope, quarter, eight, quarter each so that's a good deal and these will make beautiful covers on junk journals. And uh, I also got this book, Singing Juniors, for $3. So it's a songbook with illustrations. It's, it's kind of coming apart. It's not in great shape, which is great because I'm going to take it apart anyway. And the other book I got was this one, Birds, Their Life, Their Ways, Their World. And it's a Reader's Digest book. Um, there was a whole stack of these large books about birds. So someone was interested in birds at some point, but I wanted a book that had illustrations and not photographs, and this really fit the bill. Haha, <laughs> bill. And lots of gorgeous illustrations of birds and eggs, and I think he asked two dollars for this book. So I'm pretty excited about that. Then the other fun stuff I got were some games. I went to this, um, I just passed by one guy's area and he uh, said, he had a little trailer there and he said, there's more inside. So I went in, it didn't look like there was anything in there for me, glass things mostly. And then I noticed in the corner, covered up with other stuff, was a box that looked like it had some things that I would be interested in and I started to look in there. So. He pulled it out for me, and this is what we found. And I think he gave all three of these items to me for $5. So, I am going to be listing sets of bingo cards, because I have a variety now of vintage bingo cards. There's quite a few here, blue and red bingo cards. And this one is not as vintage, but they are cardboard chipboard bingo cards and then this game is really cool it's called Quizmo the fun game of arithmetic and these are not bingo cards but they're Quizmo cards and they are really neat looking and there's quite a few in there and in addition to those are these cards so you can take those they're perforated so they come apart and it's it looks like the game was never played this is still sealed yeah, it's still sealed, and these cards should be taken apart to, in order to play. So apparently, you do the the kid do, does the math, and then when they have the answer on this card, they put a chip on. So that's pretty neat. The top card is pretty um, weathered, faded, not weathered really, but just it's a different color than the others. So this is really awesome. This is a good deal. And what else did I find? This vintage sorry game. The uh, seller called it antique. He wanted five dollars for it, and I didn't want to pay five dollars for it because I was just trying to. I didn't want to spend too much money today. I've spent a lot recently at recent um, flea market trips, and so I said, "Well, that's that's more than I want to spend," and I was going to pass it up. And he said, "What would you be willing to pay?" And I said, two. He said, "Okay," he gave it to me for two dollars. So it's got these vintage sorry cards which are pretty neat looking. And then I found some more railroad ephemera. These were wrapped up individually. I already took them out of the wrapper and these are so cool. But let me show you this first. I asked him if he could give me a deal on all of these and he said $5 for all, which was good because it was five would have been $5 for these two. So it's like I got these free. So this was wrapped up and sealed and I couldn't actually look inside it but it's from the Lehigh Valley Railroad Company and if you're familiar with my vintage ephemera halls you've heard that name that was right here in the valley where I live the Lehigh Valley Railroad so 
there's a lot of ephemera from that railroad around. Oh, there's some writing on this page. It's pretty yellowed paper. And most of it's empty. And there is an envelope inside from the Brotherhood Railway Carmen of America. I'm not sure how that what that order is, but it's a lodge, lodge number. So it must be um, a union or something. And that was tucked inside, but it is like a ledger book, but it's pretty yellowed and pulpy. It's not the good quality paper, but I will definitely use it. And then the really good bar buys were these these tickets, Railway Express Agency from Sayre, Pennsylvania. And I just love these little tickets. And there's a whole booklet of them. I didn't count them to see how many. And this one is filled out. Oh, my word. South Wilbur. I used to live on South Wilbur Avenue before I... Oh, I've got to keep this one. It was from South Wilbur Avenue. And the address here... Oh, looks like Hubert. Mrs. Hubert Tucker. My last name is Hubert. And it is South Main Street. And I live on North Main Street. Oh, but it's South Carolina. North Carolina. Oh, that is so cool. So they're going from Sayre to North Carolina. $50. i got to keep that. It's going to go in one of my books. So anyway, I'm sorry about that. Uh, these these tickets are awesome. And then this is some kind of a sticker that they would... It's not a sticker, but they would have to tape it on. That would fit on freight, probably. This side up with care. So these are pretty fragile, but they could be Mod Podged on or taped and glued down securely to decorate pages or to a card. Like, um, let me see here. To a, a larger, oh, there goes my phone. Sorry about that. A larger card for journaling. And I'm just thinking what I'm going to do with these things. And I will put those in kits to sell also. And then I found an order form. Walter Chaffee from Ulster, Pennsylvania, which is about 15, 20 minutes away from me. And it's just order, you know, like a store receipt, hardware, Pittsburgh paints, wallpapers, hardware, plumbing and heating supplies. So they'll also be in ephemera kits. I found this jar of buttons for $2.50 some vintage buttons and I've been wanting some vintage buttons so there we are that'll hold me for a while and I found a, it was a scrapbook falling apart nasty looking scrapbook but it, I could see that it had a lot of vintage postcards and they're the kind that are um, either paintings or photographs that were painted over like this one is a painting this one may be a photograph that was then painted in the style back then. And it, they come from all over. A lot of them are Pennsylvania and New York, since that's the area I live in. But this one's Ontario. This one's Florida. Anyway, when I saw how many vintage postcards were in the book, I put it back down and I said to the man, who was being very friendly, I said, um, "This is you probably want more for this than I'm willing to give. He said, probably not. And I just said, well, it would be insulting. <laughs> Because I wanted to give him like $3. I told you I was trying to be cheap today. And I didn't say, any, I didn't give him a number. I just said it would be insulting. And he said, $3. I said, oh, okay. That's what I was going to say. So I took him out of the book already because it was a nasty book and falling apart. But um, So I got all these vintage postcards for $3. And I counted them, but I can't remember now how many there were. But there's a lot, like 40, 40 some, I think. So I'll have to go through them, and some of those will be in some kits. And this happened to be in there, too, this vintage photograph. And then the last thing I found was... I thought it was some vintage Valentines, because this was on top, be, to my Valentine. But they're calling cards. This one is a scripture verse, which I will use. I'm going to make a prayer journal for, journal for myself, and I'll use that in it for me. And the rest are just calling cards with people's names on them. I'd love to know how old they are. This one you can't even read, but it's a heavier chipboard. It's 
stylized writing, and I don't know what it says. EJ something. So anyway, they're very pretty. Pretty designs. So I thought they were fun. And it says $3 here, but I got them for $2.50. Because I, I asked for this and this and something else bunched together. And uh, got a little bit of a discount on them. So anyway, that's what I got today. You'll be seeing some of these things in projects and in um, ephemera kits that I'll be selling. So uh, I'll let you know when I get those kits put together. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.